We got to figure out Bob Zero's. Would you put the plastic bag down? What are you, a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm you, trying to find a home for it. <laughs> find a home for yourself, man. <laughs> Homeless Chuck is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, trying listen. To, trying to find a, find a home for a plastic bag. <laughs> I, what the hell is that, dude? Where it's are your priorities? It's called a pocket. <laughs> Just take his beer away, dude. Oh, my God. It should have been a brown paper bag. You know, where's your brown paper bag? It doesn't matter. All right, listen, uh, if you want to follow the show, uh, check out our Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com forward slash The Kevin Holly Show. If you want to tweet to us during the show or anytime, we are on Twitter at Kevin Holly Show 4. And uh, we are also live on Mixler, MXLR.com. If you're listening, you already know that. Uh, forward slash the Kevin Holly Show, and we are also on Instagram, Tumblr, our app. Uh, all that good stuff. And we do have an app in the uh, Android uh, market. Uh, what is it? In the Play Store? Yeah, it's in the Play Store. Ah, thanks, Chuck. Yes, <laughs> it's the Kevin Holly Show app. It's pretty simple. Uh, no, I'm familiar with a different place called the Play Store. I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, it's a total, totally different store. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can also download or uh, listen at your leisure, uh, live streaming. Uh, www.spreaker. S- P R E A K E R dot com forward slash user forward slash the Kevin Holly show. Write it down, tell your friends, tell your moms. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, also, if you want to call in tonight, uh, the number is 727 657. Chuck? 3686. There you go. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And looking forward to our, our uh, second hour here, big time, with uh, it's Sean Raspatello. Yeah, yeah, the conspiracy man. I can't wait for that. He's a big fan of. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, his show, the Shannon Burke Show. Uh, and he's a friend of their show. So, uh, like he said, what could go wrong, man? <laughs> Comedy mixed with uh, conspiracy sounds like a blast Nicely to me. Nicely done, gentlemen. I appreciate you, all your efforts in actually securing this interview. Uh, really well, well, yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. That's man. what Kevin does, man. That's what I do. Yeah. That's what Kevin does. <clears throat> I do that. I know, I know Kevin That's why he's on a security blanket. That's why I cuddle up with him at night. <laughs> yeah, it's just so you can stay warm because you're homeless, <laughs> dude. I could see, I could see that happening. Your legs yeah, would be yeah. hanging over out. Top, Kevin's, over, yeah, because yeah, my leg could definitely have a wrap to me. Yeah, good yeah. all the way down. <laughs> he down. wouldn't even cover you from neck to ankles. You know, your feet would be hanging out. And you, and can you guess who did not get a ring on Christmas? The short blanket. Can you guess who did not get a ring on Christmas? This guy. Why not? I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't know anything about that, dude. I was busy. Yeah. I was busy, uh, you know, getting engaged and. I guess you didn't have no luck on homeless uh, homelesslove.com. Yeah, homelessmatch.com. Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be a great idea. We could do like smoke <laughs> signals or something. Yeah, how would they get in touch with each other? You know? Meet me behind the dumpster for our first date. You know? No, or, or, or like how uh, Yetis communicate: just bang on the dumpster with a stick. You know, bang. <laughs> <laughs> yetis, really? We're going yeah. Yetis on yeah. the Kevin Holly Show. Yetis. Hey, you're going conspiracy theories as well. Right. Yeah. Hey, zoom. write that down. We'll ask Raz about Yetis. All right. All right. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> He's oh, tell you. <laughs> I, I hope so much. I hope they're real because then, <laughs> then Chuck could have a, a bunk mate. <laughs> Ooh, bunk mates. We have a story about bunk mates coming yeah. up, don't we? Well, hey, we could do news now in the first hour if you want, or we could save it for the... I wanted to save it for the third hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yetis, more fun, you know. Yetis are the vet. Uh, around here, we call them... Oh, skunk them. caves, I'm aware. What do we call them? Skunk caves. Because they're stinky? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I read yeah. about them. And in Oregon, they, they call, call them, them Sasquatch, and like Maine, they call them Sasquatch. Bigfoot. Big Sasquatch, Bigfoot. Right. Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch. Right. Cool. Right. Donald we're, Snowman. We're beating a dead horse here, gentlemen. They would probably beat a dead horse. They're huge. I do like the Jack Links commercials, though. I'm telling you, man. That's some good jerky. Man, I stole a bag the other day. Chuck's all about jerky. No, I stole a bag the other day. They're easy to shove down your pants in the, in the hot tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and they got those pheromones so that the homeless chicks are all like, what's in your pants? Oh, it's Musky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm looking at the whiteboard, and all I can really look at is pussy snorkels. Uh, pussy well, snorkels. Let's go into it. Let's go into it. Let's let's touch on pussy snorkels because that's yeah. an invention that um, Chuck kind of as usually is everything that happens around here. Chuck kind of had ideas about that, and uh, then I kind of put it into production. I took uh, what he said. Well, he put it in production by writing it. 
on no, the no, whiteboard. No, 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 no. Jay <laughs> actually went down, went to a kidding. club the other night, and actually did some um, R and D for us. He, he did some testing. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How'd it go? Well, so what we're tell. gonna do is we're gonna use Pops used nose holes. Okay, his well, nose hose. Yeah. yeah. Right. And we're gonna shorten them up a little bit. Hold on, everybody, be quiet, and we can hear it. That's Pop breathing through the air. I said, "Be quiet, Chuck." Oh. Jesus Christ, man. He's holding his breath. Over no, here. yeah, he's <laughs> not gonna breathe. I see him smiling. <laughs> <laughs> he, turned, he just turned all red. <laughs> he's turning blue. <laughs> Breathe. Go ahead, Pops. But no, but tell him about how it wraps around your ears the whole bit. Jay. Okay, yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. You, take you boys want me to spit fire? <laughs> Keep it up. So. So this is this is the idea behind the Kevin Holly show. Jew boys? Yeah, Jew boys. Oh, okay. Chew. 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 Okay. Come over from Puerto Rico. <laughs> All right. Tony Montana. My my pussy snorkel idea uh, is just geez. losing so much steam Sorry, over here. Dude. Talk All about right. pussy Chuck's snorkel. Chuck's pussy snorkel idea and my invention is losing steam. Right. So what we're gonna do is take Pop's used nose hoses from his oxygen tanks. I'm going to tape them them. and shorten them up. We're going to put straws at the end of them to Mm -hmm. tape them up right behind your ears with a little head belt that holds them up above your head so that when you are performing an act of, yes, on a woman, or in some people's, it might be a man. (laughs) Women can wear them. Dudes with tits. Um, Women can wear them. I I never thought about it. This isn't, yeah. I was so uh, one-sided. Basically, we, basically we we're just offering an opportunity for people to breathe through their noses better. Well, performing well, whatever you oral. choose, whatever you choose to put in yes. your mouth is, is of your own decision. It's an, yeah, exactly. hopefully, it's an op- hopefully, hopefully, it's their choice. It's a, it's an it's an equal opportunity sex toy where you will still be able to just perfectly breathe out of your nose exactly. while doing it. It keeps your head above the and air. You know what also happens best, Jay, is you put one of those breathe right strips on too and that opens up the air passages and then you're, you're, you're good to go, man. You're, you can, you're, you're good. Well, you're we'll good. get you and Pops together for some R&D this week and uh, make sure it like all goes idea. well. But yeah. uh, anybody willing to pre-order on it, they're only going to be nineteen ninety five, and if you act right now, we're going to send you a second pair free. Yep. So uh, just hit us up on Facebook. Cool. We'll get them in the mail in the next. And you can't order them in colors. We're, we're not racist here on the show, but they do come in beiges or Fifty Shades of Beige. Let's just put it that way. I just want clear. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where Chuck's going with that, but uh, <laughs> I apologize we once again. How many times have I have to apologize for Chuck's racist <laughs> comments already? And, <laughs> my God. We should put a we should put a meter on that. That's you, a great you, idea. You live in the woods for a month and see uh, <laughs> a month. You've been living in the woods for decades, bro. Five years, three months, two days, seventeen hours, and two minutes. There you go. All right. Well, if you had a pussy snorkel business, would that uh, you know lift you up? No, but it would have helped on. Um, they're also Dave. You didn't mention they are scented on the ends. The guy should go into your nose. So mm-hmm. just in case there's an outside chance of um some discomfort, you're good to go. Yeah, that, sure. That won't work. Yeah, the Pops has tried dummy, that. The dummy used tuna scent. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Pops bouncing in his wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh God, Pops, you handed some out. Uh, you handed some out at the hospice center the other day, didn't you? How did the pussy snorkels go over there? Where? At the hospice center, where you do your charity work. Uh, leave me out of your your. <laughs> and we're so sad when Chuck's not here on time, but we're so sad when he is here on time. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, well we we got a we still got a little bit of time here in the first hour. I can't wait for hour number two. I sure as hell hope it's better than hour number one, man. Yeah, uh, I'll be here for number three. <laughs> hey, Chuck, oh. why don't you talk about? Uh, what happened at work the other day when you handed out your uh, show prep notes on accident to oh, customers? Oh, my God. One and all. Um, I have a variety of occupations. Most of the time I work through manpower. It's a, it's a labor force. And um, the other day I was hired to hand out flyers for a, uh, an establishment out in Ybor City. And um, I was writing some show notes on the back of one of these flyers. And it was show notes in regards to our Christmas show. And... Um, and I'm doing my spiel, and I'm trying to get some folks interested in going to see 
certain um, areas, uh, frequent certain restaurants, certain bars and such. And you know, I'm doing my dialogue, and I, I come back up, and I wander away from it, and I come back up, and one of these ladies is looking at the back of one of these flyers. And unfortunately, um, I only had sniglets of thoughts that were written down on there in regards to our Christmas show. And most of it was retaining um, the brutalization of the Christmas songs. And there was just a couple notes on there that said, like, the little Hummer boy, he's a prostitute, and then there was a line drawn under it. And then there was another line that said, I caught Daddy fisting Santa Claus, and there's a line under it. And then sure, the next, and then the next one that says, mittens from kittens and uh, black tar and heroin are some of my favorite things. And there's a line drawn under it, and so forth and so on. And then um, remember the 12 days of Christmas we did well, with five STDs. So yeah. uh, that's all that was written down on the thing. And there's another line that says five STDs and so forth and so on. By the time I kind of start walking back up, and I see this lady's got this paper turned up upside down and she's almost kind of shaking and sweating as I approach her again. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> <laughs> Don't approach women, dude. <laughs> I simply explained to her in a very brief and I give her good eye to eye contact. I didn't look at her tits or her husband's dick either one. <laughs> and I, I said, uh, I said, Don't worry, I write comedy. <laughs> Is that really what you said to her? Yeah. Don't yeah. worry, I write comedy. Yeah, yeah don't awesome. worry, I, I write comedy. I just, I just can't her, imagine. Her reply was, that shit's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> How many likes do you have? Uh, Anyhow, to make a long story short, um, I gave her one of our business cards. I, I, I gave her some of our numbers. They happen to be from my home state. And uh, they, they're familiar with my tiny little town. And now they're moving to Alaska? Um, no, because I've told them all about Marlene Bynan, and then they're going to stay away from her. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine, man. That, that no, literally, I swear to God, I came up, and she, she's got it. I come across her on her right side. She's got it at such an angle. You know how tall I am, much taller than Kevin, as we've established. <laughs> and um, I, I can see her. She's really kind of, the paper's shaking, and it, it, was, it was not a breezy day. I think, I think we need to clarify for the listeners exactly what happened, because it's kind of brief all right so chuck had been at work writing his christmas parody songs so what right. you just heard him talk about was his you know his work he was doing at his job on his podcast parodies right so I, then I'm he hands on the back of the flyers that i was hanging and out. handing out right. so he hands one of his flyers to, didn't intend he didn't intend that out. flyer to get into the hands right. of the public so just, I mean, so everybody clearly understands. Yeah, Chuck, you got to be more oh, careful right. than that. You're giving away valuable show prep information that somebody could steal. No, 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 you know? right. I, I went into this rant about, yes, I was, I was doing our show prep, right. Right, you were doing show prep and you gave it away, man. Yeah, well, should, that, we fire that, him? should we fire uh, him for that? Absolutely not. That's mm-hmm. unbelievable. Okay. Okay. That, that, that's marketing. That's street marketing. I'm just curious because we fire him every other week, and what's, it's been a couple weeks, you know. What's hey, the, uh, you guys also deny me on unemployment, and I'm rather upset about that. Oh, yeah. I, well, I, I am contesting that. Well, when you get paid under the table, if you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do, bro? <laughs> <You know? laughs> and you're getting paid way under the table. Yeah. yeah. Well, in Kevin's case, <laughs> it's like two or three atmospheres under the table. <laughs> Uh, speaking of atmospheres, we're Short going to be jokes. talking about conspiracy theories in the second hour with a special guest, Sean Raz, calling in. That's at Sean Raz, S-E-A-N-R-A-S on Twitter. Check him out. Uh, we're going to be talking about the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, chemtrails, contrails, things like that. I don't know. I'm not really a really a big conspiracy theorist myself, but uh, I'll listen. Sounds like fun, you know? Uh, Chuck, I know, is a bit of a conspiracy theorist uh, when it comes to being homeless on the streets. Lots of my friends in the woods are. Yeah, you know, so oh, are they listening? Um, no, because I have not figured out Morse code on to bang all this dialogue out on, on, oh, on, on a tree or anything. You don't know Morse code? Well, you know, how, how can you bang out on, on the side of a dumpster, um, the Kevin Bang Bang Holly Bang Bang Show? It's a pain in the ass. Why are you going to talk like that, man? Why is it? <laughs> Chuck just looked at you like, huh? Well, I, 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 I looked at you like, <laughs> like a Yeti would see him and go, my God, humans coming that size? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you know what, though? What about other animals? Do other animals scare you while you're out there? Like perhaps monkeys? <laughs> yes, in Central Florida, I am terrified of monkeys. What about uh, dogs? 
no, no, no. What you, about me dropping a grenade on the dumpster? Oh, the poor jihad. Oh, man. Uh, yeah.